Hi, my name is Adam, and I am a pastor at a multi-site church, and I give ProPresenter a 5 out of 5 star rating. I passed a long time ago uh, in, in ministry-related churches, uh, had used things like PowerPoints a lot, um, and that's just not meant for this type of media, this type of format. Um, really, ProPresenter was something that came on uh, to the scene that um, you know had a lot of offerings that, that we wanted in terms of performance and how it worked. And um, so really for a lot of my time in ministry, I've actually been using ProPresenter um, and have had opportunities to switch to other platforms, you know, if we wanted the opportunity to switch, but, um, you know, their updates that they kept giving us were really great. So we've stuck with them for quite some time now. So the product itself and the features that that come with ProPresenter, the reason why we we actually chose to use it was just that they really seem to be uh, consistent at staying um, you know, on the cutting edge of what uh, the really the format is moving to in terms of how churches primarily are using it. Um, they continue to update it, continue to provide consistent, good updates. Um, they, they, even in this last iteration, decided to code it from the ground up for Windows and then also for Mac, both from the ground up. So they, they really continue to expand to develop, to provide helpful updates, uh, adding features that users ask for. Um, really, I don't think you could ask for a whole lot more from a company like Renewed Vision. Um, they, they make an amazing product and uh, really have very, very few things to complain about. So onboarding and integrating is not super difficult, um, especially with the newest version of ProPresenter 7. It's not that hard uh, to do if you're used to the production world. Uh, you do need a product key, which is pretty standard for software like this, so you need to make sure that users uh, know how to use that, and you can buy an individual license or a, a campus or site license that allows you to use it on multiple computers, and um, really they have a lot of good uh, videos on YouTube uh, from, from a new division themselves, and then because the product is so widely used, there's a ton of other people on YouTube that... Uh, just as well have great tutorials and, and troubleshooting. So uh, because it's so widely used and because Renewed Vision does such a good job of having those those um, basically tutorials, uh, videos, uh, there's really not a whole big barrier to, to users getting on board with it. If, if you're in the production world, it's, it's very easy to make the switch. So if you're considering ProPresenter, um, you know, the things that I would consider and things to understand is that it's it's amazing product that I think is the latest in terms of um, what lar especially larger churches are looking for. Um, it, it can be pricey depending on if you need a, you know, what license you need for it. Um, they even have a, a way of now giving continued update pushes um, by subscription model, which I think everybody's moving towards now. Um, but really, uh, I, I would recommend that you, you give it a shot because if you need the latest and the greatest, which I think um, at, at, as larger churches, that's what you are looking for, um, then, and then this is the right move for you because you're going to have consistent updating. It's going to be working on the latest uh, software and hardware that you're using, and it gives you great, great flexibility, um, especially with ProPresenter 7 now compared to ProPresenter 6. Uh, tons of flexibility. So if you want the best um, and, and you're willing to, to pay that type of a price tag, then I would, I would definitely consider just trying it out.